I'm Wanderer001 and this is my review of the OtterBox commuter case for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, this case is more than just a back cover. Uh, considering how much you spend on a smartphone, you kind of want to have it protected in case of accidental drops or what have you. Uh, so I went with the commuter case here, uh, like I said, from OtterBox uh, for a couple of reasons. If we swing around to the back here, uh, protects against Bumps, dust, scratches, um, what comes in this little package here, uh, aside from the actual OtterBox commuter case, it comes with a little wipe to clean off the screen before you apply. Again, it has a screen protector, so you kind of use this to plot it down. So we'll get this out of the way, and I will show you the first layer of protection, which may or may not be easy to see. Uh, actually, you can see it kind of down here, is a screen protector. You can also see over here, little air bubbles. That's because, and down here, uh, that's because some hair got in, uh, because if you're not putting one of these on in a hermetically sealed area, uh, you're bound to get dust. It's a pain in the butt. So I, I know of people who can put these on really easily, but I did not quite have that uh, luck when I did this. So first level of protection for the commuter case is the screen protector. So the other two levels aside from the screen protector is this rubberized silicone. So, hang on. so the rubberized silicone sits over the phone itself. Uh, as you can see in the most vulnerable places, the corners here, it is doubly reinforced. Uh, it also has covers for the volume rocker and power button. It also, I will show you later, but has caps for the 3.5 millimeter head jack and your USB port on the bottom here, as well as, you know, for the microphones, it's got empty spaces. Um, because it is a kind of rubberized silicone, it does collect dust if you have it in your pocket. I don't know if you can see that very well. This has been on my phone. Um, so it does get a little dusty, but I'd rather have a little bit of dust on this than breaking the very expensive phone. The next level of protection is the outer shell here, which is plastic, which is a sturdy polycarbonate. So it's just another fancy word for saying expensive plastic. Uh, you have holes cut out for your LED, your camera, and your speaker. And yes, even on the back of the rubberized one, you have them as well because uh, it sits thusly kind of in. Uh, the OtterBox commuter comes in many different colors. Uh, this is the standard black on black. They have a green black combination, a purple, light purple, sky blue, and dark blue, which can be seen here on my wife's Samsung Galaxy. So you've got the light blue shell versus the dark blue rubberized liner and white and gray. <clears throat> now, they are a bit tricky to put on, and I'm going to attempt to do this on camera, which I can't guarantee will turn out very well, because I've seen this done on camera before, and it's never easy. So, you kind of work the rubberized lip around, making sure that your ports here, and well, not ports, but buttons are covered correctly, and then you come along and slip on the shell. And the easiest way that I found to do it is if you put your top part in first and then kind of work in the volume buttons and then slip over to this side. I'm going to fade out and do this off camera because it's kind of tricky to do behind here. Okay, so after a little uh, finicking, you can see the commuter case in all its glory on the S3 here. Uh, the rubberized part is a little bit tricky to get past the uh, prefabricated holes. Uh, that's something else to consider. Uh, the buttons, the power button and the volume rocker are a little more difficult to push once you have the commuter case on, but it does help to keep out the dust. As you can see here, a uh, little flap how it integrates, same with the top for the 3.5 millimeter head jack. Even with the commuter case on, the 3.5 millimeter head jack is accessible. Uh, here you have your standard straight 
goes in with no problem. And then we have an older style L, which again, no issue, no matter how you have it in there, it doesn't get in the way. That out. And then we have a newer styled one, so it's slightly thinner. Again, no issues whatsoever pl plugging in. Now, what I see a lot of reviewers forgetting uh, to mention about the commuter case here is this rubberized part that's supposed to be good for shock absorbing, and it is, uh, actually is a lip. If you can see that, so when you put your phone down, you're not resting it right on the screen. Likewise, because of the plastic backing, um, the camera here does protrude a little bit out of the back of the Samsung phone, but with the case, as you can see, it's recessed. So when you put it down, you're not putting it down on the camera itself. Uh, the only thing I can find that I don't really like with the lip here is if you're swiping, you know, you're, you kind of have that stop. It gets in the way of uh, a fluid complete swipe across the phone. Uh, it is kind of neat though, if you don't have a, a place to put the phone in the car, uh, put it face down with the rubber and it keeps it in place on the seat next to you uh, because it also is the, the silicone rubber. If you put it on something, let's say, we'll put it on this because it's rubber, flat, not flat. So it can kind of hang out at a slight angle for a period of time and not go anywhere without it hurting it. Uh, so, like I said, I got the commuter case because I wanted something more than just a backing. I wanted to protect the investment in the very expensive smartphone, and the commuter case, I thought, was the way to go. Uh, so, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S3 and you're looking for a slightly better bit of protection, uh, OtterBox commuter case is the way to go, I think. It does add a little bulk, as you can see there, if you're familiar with the thinness of the phone. If not, you can click here, and I will link to the review I did on the phone. You can see the side view comparison of it next to a iPhone 4 as well. But the commuter case, even though it adds a little bit of uh, bulk to the phone, I actually like that because it gives me something extra to grab onto. Uh, if you look online, you can find the commuter case here on the OtterBox website for roughly $35. Uh, if you look around on, let's say, Amazon, you can find the black version, the black on black standard version for about 15. Uh, it's been Wonder 001. Questions or comments? Area below.